Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about a movie called The Beguiled. This is a movie directed by Sofia Coppola. And it stars Nicole Kidman, Colin Farrell, Kirsten Dunst, and Al Fanning. And it's a remake of a 1971 movie that was directed by Don Siegel and starred Clint Eastwood. Yeah, so this is a movie that's set during the Civil War era, and it takes place in the South, and it's about a house of women who find a wounded corporal who's a Yankee, so since they're Southerners, he's their enemy, and they take him in and try and nurse him back to health, and it's a thriller, so I don't really want to say too much because I don't want to give anything away, so I'll stop there. It's uh, almost like a gothic horror movie, mm -hmm. in a way, and yes, you can't say too much about it. The uh, Colin Farrell character is somewhat ambiguous, unlike the Clint Eastwood character in the original, and I way prefer the original and that original take on the character itself. But that said, I still enjoyed this movie and found it quite compelling and thought the performances were extremely good, particularly Kidman. Uh, but also Colin Farrell and Kirsten Dunst and Elle Fanning and the entire ensemble, actually. All the women in the movie are good. Yeah, I completely agree with you on that. I thought Nicole Kidman was truly the standout performance. She's really, really good in yeah, this movie. Um, so here's my take on the movie. I didn't love it as much as you did, and I know you didn't love it. I just didn't really enjoy it like that much. Um, I had some problem. I thought Colin Farrell was good. I just had some problems with his performance, and you're calling it ambiguity, but I'm kind of wondering if it was consciously ambiguity. I didn't see the original, so I should make that known, but you had told me that Clint Eastwood made, like, his performance. In his performance, it's clear what his motivations are, and you kind of get that Clint Eastwood, I'm assuming, is kind of like a seedy character, and you don't get that with Colin Farrell. So as a result, like, it seems like everything's, like, happy-go-lucky, and so it was slowly paced, and all of a sudden there's all this action, and then it kind of just ends. So because of that, I just really didn't like the pacing of the movie. It felt too slow for me, and I don't mind slow-paced, low-key movies. This just felt like it was, go like, dragging, and I didn't really enjoy it that much. Well, there you go. I would probably give this movie three cylinders. I probably would not. I think I would give this movie two and a half cylinders, but I would emphasize Nicole Kidman's performance because I, I truly think it was really, really good. The Beguiled. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you with the movies. Bye.